Run! Run! Swim faster! Oh god, uh... Hide your children, hide your wife! Welcome to the Serenity SMP. I'm Atoei Games, and today we embark on an epic journey through uncharted lands. But this isn't just a survival SMP, it's about community. A community bound by creativity, friendship, and the love, of course, of Minecraft. Well, I have found the place. I think I'm going to settle down. It does have somebody living here. This panda. But I really like this place. It has everything that I'm looking to do in this season of Serenity. And I have some really big plans. I'm super excited. But first, we need to get some things sorted. Food, basic materials, etc. So, let's hop right into... What is that panda doing back there? <laughs> let's hop into uh, getting some, some basic stuff together here. What? I didn't see- I didn't see nothing. I don't know what just happened, but, um, yeah, I don't- I didn't see anything. Hmm. Well, uh, I put together this little rough draft of a villager trading hut just to start getting some things going, some gear, etc. And, uh, this is gonna change quite a bit down the road, but, uh, it's let me, you know, just kind of get some basic things together. Because definitely one of the easiest uh, ways to get gear and get gems and everything else involved. Get some basic books, etc, etc. This is um, the Atoei version of a villager breeder. I just keep two locked in there with this piston. And they, you know, they have bread and everything. And then they pop out babies. And then eventually I let the horde loose. And then they all stare at me like they don't know what's going on in their own head. And then over here is where I cure people. This guy's been cured. Oh no. You you weren't supposed to go that, that way. Um. Well, he's gonna get cured again. Uh, just shut this. And release the zombie! I want to come up with a funny name to give that zombie like ass clapper or something because he be clapping them cheeks. I'll just cure this guy again. It's not a big deal. If I can remember in my massive disorganization where I have everything. But I just wanted to show everybody this eventually. So I'm gonna be doing a pirate theme this year. And I want to basically, so my house that I'm gonna live in is gonna be a pirate ship. And then um, I'm gonna make this whole area into a pirate cove. A giant skull and you know things you typically think about when you think of pirates. And I decided to do this because I've never um, done anything pirate related. So I thought it would be fun to do. Well here I am getting distracted of course. And I have something pretty neat to show you guys. I don't think I've ever seen this. But this, this is not just an ordinary panda, no, no. This panda has a, a baby zombie on him. It's a panda jockey, and I can't think of any time I've ever seen one of these. So, I saved him and got him. I'm gonna have to put him in something. Something cool to, like, kind of just be his home or something like that. But he's super cool. I got him name tagged everything and got the helmet on him. But, yeah, I love, love this guy. But I also have something over here. So, by insane luck, a brown panda spawned. And so, I then immediately started breeding him to get a second brown panda. And it took a minute, but I got him. And so now, I have the legendary brown panda. And then, I have a couple other panda types in there as well. I'm super stoked about that. I've never gotten the brown panda. And I've tried in the past and just wasn't successful. 
So I'm gonna have to make like a cool panda pen or something for these guys because I love the panda. They're neat. They're fun to watch and they're just enjoyable. And who knows? Maybe it's gonna be a panda themed pirate cove. But I still need a lot of resources here to finish. I've started on my ship, uh, but I I am running out of resources constantly. So I'm just gonna get some more stuff together and I'll bring you back in a second. I uh, definitely biffed that one. So I'm out here trying to get some frogs because I'm gonna build a. Ooh, come back here. Get in the bucket. Yes. Oh. Well, he's good. Um, I'm gonna build a light shop, and I kind of want to offer every light basically in the game would be the ultimate goal. But like some of them, like sea lanterns, are just gonna take longer to get but i'm getting the frogs because i need the frog lights and it's honestly my favorite light in the game i love them so even if i wasn't gonna do a light shop i'd be doing the frog light farm because boy that's a great light and it's definitely one of my go-to's for building what what how did you guys even get up there sometimes the things you see in this game so one of the other lights I am going to be selling is, of course, end rods. And uh, I need a lot of blaze rods for that. Because I could go to the end and farm it. And I've already gone to the end and spent like an entire day just farming shulker shells from end city to end city. But it's just a lot easier and faster if I just craft the end rods myself. So I got the plant that the purple stem thing out there in the end waste. I already got a bunch of those to grow them and now I'm getting my goal is two shulker boxes of blaze rods here. So I'll probably be spending most of the day doing this. Well I've decided to kind of pause working on my ship and everything and i want to get this light shot built uh, everybody keeps asking for frog lights and uh, i keep delaying and delaying it so i'm just gonna get this shop built and get all the lights i do have currently up for sale so people can use them and uh, they don't have to keep waiting on me but i've got to carve out a chunk maybe 10 or so blocks deep here of deep slate which is actually a win for me because i have not had the time to accumulate much deep slate yet so i am actually quite happy to do this deep slate is such a great block but i am starting here this is where i've chosen to build my shop it's across from elise's shop and um ht's rocket shops just down the little ways and then um it was chosen to build the shopping district in an ancient city which is kind of neat it's definitely a different environment to build in and you don't have to worry as much about um mob spawning so that's pretty cool but i'm gonna go ahead and start getting this taken care of i'll bring you back in a second when i am starting to work on the shop all right so i've got this all carved out now i really hmm, trying to think exactly how wide i want to go maybe here uh, let's see do i like this um, i think i'll come over some more here put it a little more to the side me double count this because i will 100 percent make a mistake i've got the basic shell of the shop built now and i wanted um i was kind of envisioning it, it to appear like the lights are kind of like a shop window like you'd look through a shop window and you could see the various lights that are on sale so i built these little tables here i'm kind of setting up how um i want them to look well, I wanted it to 
almost kind of in a way like the harry potter shops and how you could look through the window and see the various merchandise I, i'm kind of going for that feel but um not in any way styled after harry potter i'm doing kind of a more modern basic shop but it's always kind of hard deciding where to put what i have a lot of the blocked full block lights on this side and a lot of the non-full blocks on the other side. But I like the look of this. It's looking good. I'm happy with this. And then I kind of want a center display here for the camp, the two types of campfires. And I'm also going to put the lectern in front of this as well. So this is kind of the central point of interest of the shop. All right, so I'm done. I've got the shop built. Uh, there's a little shulker shop that popped up next to me. I love it. I think his little face is cute. I put in these just like torches in the center just to put some light in here. And then I made this little path. I ran out of mud blocks, so I've got to get more of those. Well, I just threw these little torches together. It's nothing fancy or nothing. And this is the shop. LCD lights. And I did a little pixel art on top. Just the various torches and I'm really happy with how this turned out I'm quite uh, quite happy I love just the whole aesthetic of it I love that you can basically see anywhere throughout the store through the windows and it's all quite visual from the exterior but these are how the tables ended up turning out and then I've got the center column here and this is what I put in for the book for people because if people wanted to do like a very large project they can hit me up and I'll do a bulk order with special pricing since they're ordering so many lights but just as that an option because not not everybody just wants to buy one or two stacks or some, for example so that's there and then I have the shopkeeper of course um, I, I picked the tuxedo cat because I have a little tuxedo cat named Maggie at home and uh, my whole life revolves around that cat, so of course I went with the tuxedo. I'll put a picture up of Maggie here. But basically, most of the lights are in stock. At Some are really low numbered, but I've at least got the majority of them. I still need to build a guardian farm for the guardian lights, but most things are here. But yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I'm very excited with the way it it looks. And I think people will like it quite a bit. Alright. What did I log into? I just logged on for the day. And there's a raid in my little pirate cove. Um. Well. I don't... I. I don't know what's going on. Probably somebody accidentally walked through or something. But um, we're going to have to deal with this. <laughs> I'm not a, a big PvPer. I don't do that much combat. I'm a builder at the end of the day. Oh, this guy's he's pulling the jukes. He's pulling the jukes. All right, I got to get these healed. Uh, the iron golems are about to be my very best friend. My very, very best friend. Oh man, I think one of the frogs got off the lead. Or they got killed. Alright, I need to... I might need to make more iron golems. That might not... Oh, oh they're coming. They're coming in swarms. I gotta let these guys out. They're just gonna get killed in there. Alright. Let's start at the top. Get, get the iron golems out because they're they're gonna do all the hard work for me I'm gonna let them carry the weight because um, I'm a chicken <laughs> I've never fought a raid um, by myself I've always uh, kind of cheesed it or used a raid farm all right we'll shut those man there's gonna be sheep everywhere that's gonna be that's going to take a while to get everybody back in the pen, but whatever, I will deal with that in a little bit. That's just not the priority right now. 
Run! Run! Swim faster! Oh god. Uh, hide your children. Hide your wife. Oh my god, I almost got killed there. What? What is hurting me now? Is Run! Gosh, I just can't get a breath. I can't get a break. I can't get a breath. Oh man, that was, was a drown. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. They're oh, they're just shredding my uh, trees over there. Boy, they they pack a punch. Those guys, they hurt. Mm, highly don't recommend. Man, I don't know how Tango just wrangles those guys like it's nothing. Move, scooch, scooch. Try, trying to gear gear dang it out of the way trying to give you more help all right so let's put some over here I can hear them oh man go go that way go help your friend go you guys are buddies I can see one of those guys over there oh man Fine. If you're not gonna help, let's put another golem here. No, stop going that way. All right, I'll I'll bait him. I'm, 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 oh, we've had a casualty. There's been a casualty. Oh my goodness! Run for your life! Run! He he whoop, Sorry, run for my life. Don't don't um. Don't have time. Don't got time. Running for my life. Get them. Get the little demons. I hate those little vexes. They're just creepy guys, man. It's gotta be over soon, right? Like, how many waves are there to this thing? Ooh, piece of candy. Piece of candy. There. Is this my moment? Is this my moment to be a hero? I'm going in. I'm going in. Dun, 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 dun. I. I know. I know. I'm a badass. What can I say? What can I say? If you if you need a, a local hero in your world, um, you know, call one eight hundred hero. I am of service. You know, just another just another day. Oh. Oh no. He's gonna die. I need to get this built. Oh my god. The guy's coming for me. Whew. Built that in the nick of time. Get a friend for him too. Just so he has somebody to help him. Or not. The other one's not targeting. But whew, more pieces of candy. I love these. Let's just keep picking these on up. Hmm. All right, is there anything? I see a, the casualty. Any? Where are they? I hear them. Are they? Where are they? Come here. Um. Oh, I still didn't pick this up. I know they're close to here. I can hear them. Where are? Are they in the bees? They're with the bees. It's in the bee dome. Oh boy. I'm not sure how you fit in there. But um, let's do this as uh, chickeny as possible. Because of course I will. Nope. Nope. Lay down. Alright. You. Come here. Come here. No. No. Hey, this is not nice. Don't bite. Just, just accept your fate. You're gonna die. Ow! All right, all right. Yeah, you just look at me like that. You just look at me. No, I'm gonna kill you. Come here. Come here. Come here. I think that's an evoker on his back. Yeah, it's a evoker. No, no, die. Die faster. Yeah. Okay, whew, it's over. Man, um, that'll get your heart pumping to start the day. That, that'll get your heart pumping.
All right, so I'm kind of building uh, my storage system here. I'm, I'm, so I loved the storage, like sh I guess shulker system that Etho, Etho Lab did. Um, really, really liked it. And typically, I do like a large auto sorter or something like that because I can't stand if my stuff isn't organized. But living on a ship means there's not that much room and. With Etho's system, I could really use the fact that I don't have a lot room, but ultimately have even more storage space. So I decided to build it here for Bedrock. I had to make a couple small tweaks to make it work here, but so far so good. It's working out fine. Still uses the mud block to change over between the various shulkers. And, um,. I'm happy with how this is turning out. It's there's definitely been it's been a little tight in some places. I've had to kind of force it to work. But ultimately, I'm pretty happy with as many as I managed to get built here. And then I will kind of hide slash decorate this area so it looks really nice. Dang it, I didn't mean to do that. But yeah, I just got to get this all finished up. Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys kind of how and this was going to fit and how it was going to work in the hole of my ship. And then I'll basically make this a floor so this will become the bottom floor of my ship. And that uh, hides the vast majority of the redstone. Alright, she's all done. Finally. This is what she looks like. Let me swim out here and get on the ship. Right now, I'm going to build like a, si a, like a little small boat. You know how most ships have uh, boats for in case of emergency. I'm going to build one right here for access for the ladder. But right now, I'm just using a regular boat. And then I have everything done here. So these are the cannons kind of on the central deck area. And then... I have a cauldron of water just in case you needed to cool something down when you're fighting a pirate battle. You know, just just for the aesthetics. And then, um, of course, no pirate ship is complete without some pirate parrots. And then this is the enchanting room. I'm not completely happy with this room yet, so I still might change this room around a little bit. But it's functional, does what I need it to do, and... Um, yeah, it's just kind of basic. Not Nothing really special about this room. And then up here, at, well, of course, we have some stashed gold. Because us pirates, like, we like our gold. But I have just kind of miscellaneous. I put some hay up here. Um, I didn't really know what to do with this area. So it just kind of is like some storage. And then you can look out and see the bay itself. And then... Um, over here we go up and we have the captain of the ship captain llama and so he is at the steering console and he's doing his thing he's got an attendant because you know i wouldn't want him to get lonely or anything but he's the captain this is you know who's really in charge here and then i missed a block there up here there's nothing going on this is just the highest point um and then where the anchor attaches but, yeah, it's, you know, it's a really good view. That's uh, probably the best part. Of and down here is the uh, kitchen or dining area is a better. And I just have some shelves that I'm going to put more books in. And then I took a map of the ship in the area just so um, at a later point I can compare it to how much it has changed over time. And so those are locked and sealed. I love the view from this room out here. Like, during the day, it looks so nice. It's really, really nice. That might be my favorite room. And it's not that fancy. And then down here, this is what I like to call my quarters. This is my room. And so, I have the armor stands. I'm going to put netherite on that one. And I have my fancy, fancy fridge right here. I don't have anything in there yet. And then over here, just kind of decor, I have um, 
I have some steaks and fish on the grill, almost like they're getting preserved. And then basically everything I would need um, that I don't have in the area of which I craft. And I have my bed and then some shelves, you know, just to look kind of nice, fill that space. And then down here. Down here is the most important room. This is the storage room, how it turned out. I, um, I have as much of the redstone I can hide as possible. And, uh, so for example, you will grab a shulker out of there, and then that swaps it over, and now I have access to everything in there. And, uh, over here is kind of the dump chest, uh, like Etho designed, and you just put, and when you have, like, a lot of the same block, then you, uh, put it in its designated shulker. And the chest is for when shulkers are completely full of this assigned, like, group. I'll put them in that chest so they aren't taking up space in the barrel. And then, um, yeah, you can see I've started filling some of these up. And then the rest of these chests are just for things like either non-stackables or things that I don't necessarily want. Uh, so sometimes it does spit it back up. Etho had that same problem. Um, so you just re-throw it. But yeah, just like any other miscellaneous things, like I'm really using the shulker swappers storage system to hold uh, the blocks you get like a lot of. And then over here I have these like organized and whatnot. I really, really like to keep my stuff organized so I don't have to spend time trying to find things. But yeah, this is how this all turned up and... Um, I'm really, really happy. I wasn't sure how well this was going to work when I saw Etho set up. I was like, I really would like to do it, but will it work was the question, and it did, and it worked beautifully. I am so thankful Etho made that system because it's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic, especially for smaller spaces like this. This is the ship. I'm super happy. I love the carpets in here. My favorite color is blue. And so, of course, I went with blue and gray. And then, um, I got some skulls there for decor and, you know, just little things here and there. Cannons are here because, of course, if we need to defend ourselves, we will. And the pirates, the parrots, will man the cannons. They, they've already been assigned, they've already been trained. Okay, the parrots know what's up, they know how to fire these cannons at any moment that could be necessary. They will handle it. These parrots, they may look cute, but they're lethal, okay? Don't, uh, you know, they're a little sus, but you know that you have sus characters on a pirate ship. That's just how it is, okay? So we employed them. We gave them employment and said, you, you man the, the cannons. So to end this episode here, I think we will look onto the sunset. I have so much exciting things I have planned and I can't wait to see where this season takes me. I'm so happy to be on Serenity SMP. I love it. Um, it's the first SMP I've ever been a part of and I'm having an absolute blast. But thank you all for watching. It's the first time I've done a Let's Play video. I really appreciate you guys. Um, if you'd like to like or subscribe, I'd also love it. Um, but if not, I hope you have a great day. Cheers, everyone.